let's run this and see if we can get this action. Until somebody stops that, I go back to that. Shabazz was just smothered by Suggs, who's such a good defensive player, particularly for a young player, a Yai down low. If you do, you win a good chunk of the time, like 90% clip. Tom McCain is in the game to try to stop Drew Timmy. 40. How's that working so far? He can go for 40 tonight, Dave. Because you talked about him in the open. No, look at his footwork, look at his balance, look at the size, look at the strength, and his feel and touch. I, I mean... Julian I go right back to him. Go right to him. Already, give it to him. Already committed two fouls. There he is. Gets the catch. That quick spin move. Reverse is in. Whoa. Off the mark. Timmy grabs another rebound. He's doing it all. I'd pull it back and wait for him. Why not? not this. Go in. It did. Now, we're not rooting, but this is amazing. Not play, not practice for weeks in the middle of the season and come back and just hit the ground running. Nemhard well, three. Perfect. Bouye against the great freshman defender Suggs. Step back jumper is good. What a move by Jamari Bouye. Feeling well, didn't make the trip to San Francisco. Jalen Suggs has been mostly quiet in this one until now. What a move. Because that's where the whole audience will be after this timeout. The number one zags behind Timmy and Suggs and company. That's, that's a good offensive possession there. But show on two on ball screens, get back, shrink the floor. Everything's going the way that you would want defensively. We're about to do our first halftime today, and my son knocks on the door and goes, Dad, would you like 10 chickens or 10 dogs? Which one would you rather have? I said, 10 chickens. And he goes, Good. And I said, I'm on air. And he goes running back down the hall. <laughs> the important questions can't wait, Mr. Farnham. Final minute of the first half, Nemhard off the mark. And finally, the Dons grab a defensive board. Dave, I can confirm it was the chickens. <laughs> Hits the three, he's back. And altering and getting deflections like you even saw in that possession. And that's just great team defense. And so they're settling for some of those one pass, shoot three pointers, and, and that's not what you want. Wow, Timmy got the oh block on one end and then the oh feed from goodness. Suggs for the dunk finish on that end. Talent. And sometimes talent needs to recognize talent. And when players playing as hot as Drew Timmy has, just give him the ball and let him go. It's the Timmy show. That was pretty good athleticism on that last dunk. Not a lot of guys that can do that. No. Used a screen, Suggs did, to hit the three. Played in the West Coast Conference. Of course, the national championship last time the West Coast Conference, the WCC team won a national championship. Bill Russell played on that team for USF. And Todd Golden likes Roy's upsides. He, he thinks he can become a the face of the Dons moving forward if he stays committed to the process. That one flipped up and in by AIE. You see, and Bill Russell did it all those years ago. That three off the mark. Here comes Gonzaga. Great lead pass. Yeah, he lays it in. Reading these situations. Watch. The shot goes up. He knows he has no chance of the rebound. He's already ahead by a step or two. And he gets behind that back line. And it's a layup. And he's at hey, Listen, we have told our guys, if you see a Yai go, you have to run with him. You cannot stand and watch. Nobody who can score faster than Gonzaga. No. Kisper oh, lays it in with a foul. One person hold the ball. You pass, Kispert gives it up, spaces the floor. You've got a cut on the baseline, and then Ayayi, he's ripping and keeping his eyes up, and he sees out of the... That Timmy's not in this game. Timmy could be going for a career high. He could be going for 40 points if they really wanted him to. What about the level of play? Well, efficiency, the whole reason to have the efficiency numbers is because they adjust for level of play and venue and stuff like that. Kispert lays it in. Assists. He's going to switch to the left hand. Miss that one. Doesn't miss many of those. Here come the Dons. Isaiah Hawthorne, who had a good game the other night against Pepperdine, lays it in with a foul. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well have a sense of humor about it when you've got a guy that. playing as well as he has. There's Anthony Roy. Here out of Dublin, California, that's in the Bay Area. And just see. Very nice, concise moves, stayed under control. <laughs> Anthony Roy was probably the best player in the Bay Area. A lot of teams assumed he was going to go play a year in prep school, and so maybe some teams sort of backed off of him. Anyway, the Dons have a really talented young man. To have a guy that averaged 15 points per game last year in college basketball that transferred in is 
You're out, you lose, your season's over, the judgments can be harsh. The last five years, two Sweet 16s, two Elite Eights, and a National Championship game in the tournament. He's, he has been so impressive in practice that Mark Few says, look, he, there could be a moment if somebody gets in foul trouble, we would trust Ben Gregg on the floor. Cook, lobs. Three goes down. That is the third freshman in these last couple minutes. Five straight road games. Back door. Oh, back door. Look, at that. Look at that. I'm not going to miss shots. That one goes down for Julian Strother. You want to look for the last couple numbers? We saw Drew Timmy, 11 for 12, 28 points. Gonzaga in the second half. They were up huge in the first half. They shot 21 of 28 in the second half. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.